Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Tried Truth. Today I want to talk about um, one of my favorite toys. I picked this up a couple of years ago. And um, it is the Schmeiser STG MP44. And um, anytime you watch a movie where there are Nazis involved, um, I'm not a Nazi by the way, but uh, you'll see this gun. It's a Sturmgewehr, or um, basically storm rifle. This is the first assault rifle ever produced. Um, and uh, the Germans produced this one in World War II. And um, let me tell you something. This replica is spec. I mean, it's right on. And the weight is super heavy. This thing weighs nearly 10 pounds. Um, anyway, this is set. There's two versions of this. You can get this um, in 5.56 five, or uh, 7.62, I think. Um, but this one is 22 long rifle. And um, I like it because, well, first of all, you can afford to shoot it because it's 22 long rifle. It came with two clips. I bought a third. Um, and I believe those are 24, 25 round clips. The strap I bought additionally, and it's the original, it's like a K15 or something they call it. Um, and I bought this um, online from Germany. Uh, but yeah, the strap just, you know, it's like I said, it's the original strap that goes to the original Sturmgewehr uh, uh, rifle. Uh, this thing... I'm telling you, it will shoot as fast as you pull the trigger. No kidding. And I've had this thing glowing, the barrel glowing red. But like, um, man, I tell you what, this is the most gruesome looking um, weapon that I own. Now, I have a, a few, and I like 22s. This is definitely my favorite one. Uh, and I did promise this to my son and uh, you know it does have the removable wood stock and the little uh, kit storage here I don't know what you put in there but it does have it it's like I said this thing's true to spec it's got all the original writing here is your uh, release button for the clip push that in pulls right out big heavy clips go in and uh, man you know what, um, in the spring, I'll go out back and I'll, I'll shoot this thing and do a, a more thorough review of it. But all solid steel, I mean, this thing is made extremely well. Now, I, I, I actually, um, let's see, I saw it at Dunham's and they wanted, um, I think Dunham's wanted $5.99 or more. Wait a minute. That may have been a different gun. I think they wanted $6.99 for this one at Dunham's a couple of years ago. So I came home and I looked it up online and I ended up getting it for $5.99 online. So I got it for a hundred bucks cheaper and it does, it comes disassembled and it comes in a wooden crate, just a real nice touch. And I, I'm keeping the crate. I'm not giving that to my son. I like that crate and it's got the Eagle on it and everything. But man, this is just a beautiful, beautiful gun. And like I said, it'll go as fast as you can pull the trigger. It doesn't have to be fully automatic, um, you know, for it to, to be effective. This thing, I've taken it out and shot it, and it's just, it's just a beautiful gun. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's a beast, you know. I mean, man, any burglar comes into your home, you, you come out with this thing. It doesn't matter that it's a 22 long rifle either. Um, you know, 22 is accurate for up to a mile. And this thing is just um, one of the best straight shooting guns I've ever owned. It has no kick at 22 long rifle. So, like, you're going to hit your target with this, no problem. Um, yeah, I love it. I just love it. And it's very unique. It's one of the best looking guns I own. Um, I mean, it's really true to spec. And if, you know, if you tried to buy a real Sturmgewehr fully automatic, first of all, you got to get licensed to own it. But uh, on top of that, 
I don't think you could touch one under five or six thousand um, dollars if you could even get your hands on one of the originals. But this is just like I said, even though it's a replica, it's true to spec. It's uh, it was sanctioned by the original uh, designers. Um, I believe that the same guy who designed the AK-47 uh, Kalashnikov, I think, is the same guy that was involved with the design of this. Now, this gun actually, um, at the time, Hitler was shooting it down. He didn't want anything to do with the larger guns. He wanted all of them to be machine gun pistols. So he wouldn't approve um, the production of guns like this. Somebody went behind his back and they went ahead and produced this gun. And I guess it turns out when he finally seen it, somehow or another, he fell in love with it. And um, like I said, man, I'm not a Hitler buff and I, I don't salute the guy in any way or anything. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not promoting, you know, Nazis or Hitler. I just like the gun. I just really, really like the gun. It's just a, it's a piece of history. This thing, it'll always be the most notorious assault rifle. Um, the design is so unique. Um, it, it's just gruesome. This thing is just truly gruesome. And I, I'm sure you can agree with that. But look at this thing. It's just beautiful, guys. I'm telling you. And like I said, man, when you you get this bad boy and you load it up and, you know, you, you get behind the trigger of this, you just, man, you can feel it. Uh, and even though it's a 22 long rifle, it's just, uh, it's the best 22 that you can get. I'm telling you, they don't make them better than this one right here. This is just, uh, and, and I'm telling you, the technology and the design of this is just fearsome. Man, this is just the best looking and look how big this thing is. It's just a beautiful, beautiful gun. And, uh, you know, I really dig it, man. I, I, this is definitely one of my favorites. I don't even know if you can still get this model. Um, STG uh, MP44, 22 long rifle. Um, maybe Google it, look it up. I don't know. If you do buy it online, you do have to uh, go, um, you know, you have to put in a, a store near you, a licensed uh, federal, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, to have it delivered. You probably won't find this in a whole lot of stores. I haven't seen any in a long time. Like I said, I've had this a couple of years. But uh, yeah, I really love this thing, man. Like I said, the stock does come off. Um, I like it better with it on there. I mean, without the stock, this is more like what you'd be looking at here. Um, you know, but, uh, I think it looks better with the stock, just gives it a more menacing look. Um, but yeah, really love it. And then, like I said, you'd have to buy the strap separate. I also bought, bought a scope mount for this, which I would have to take off these, uh, sights, which I would not want to do. I only bought it because it was the only, uh, additional accessory that was available. And I just wanted the whole package. Like I said, and if I do pull this peg right here, I pull that out, then the stock will come off and I can put it back in the crate. But uh, I just keep it in my gun safe. I don't, I don't put it back in the crate at all. But yeah, this thing's super accurate. I'm telling you, super accurate. And it will go all day. I've taken this to the gun range a couple of times and just unloaded boxes of ammo through this thing. So... Yeah, this is the STG MP44 Sturmgewehr uh, GSG STG um, MP44. And you know what? I did pick this up from American Tactical, and it even has their name right there. So, um, yeah, it's just like I said. It's Even though it's a reproduction, it's to spec. The weight is right. The size is exact. Um, and like I said for for this gun you're you're not going to be able to get your hands on a real mp44 in the um i think it was uh ugh. yeah it was uh not the 556 the 7.62 full metal jacket i think is what this was designed to originally shoot but i do know that you can get this in a 556 but you're going to pay for it and it will be semi-automatic as well um but anyway 
that's just a quick review of this bad boy. So we'll see you next time.